hi everyone you welcome back to my youtube channel my name is toyo if you're just meeting me for the first time and to my returning subscribers thank you so much for always sticking around as you all know i am a youtuber digital nomad in malta and i've been here for about three months now and in today's video i'm just going to be sharing the culture shocks things that were new to me things that shocked me when i came to malta so perhaps you're just coming here for the first time you're about to come here to leave to visit i'm sure this is a video for you so please if you experienced anything similar to what i experienced please leave it in the comment section and if you experience something different also leave it in the comment section all right so the first one is the trash system the trash system in malta is very interesting so before we came here we already watched videos of people complaining bitterly about the trash system in Malta but I think I've gotten a hang of it right now so the thing is because they're trying to separate the trash as much as possible I'm sure to dispose it properly or you know just for better organization everyone is asked to put different kinds of trash into different kinds of bags and leave them out on different days and so it was a bit new to me because i mean where i'm coming from you just put your stuff anything in the black nylon and throw it into the into the green trash can in front of your apartment and that's it but here here we have to so mondays wednesdays fridays are for organic stuff and they have to be put into a white bag and I believe Tuesday and Saturdays are for general waste so that's the black bag and then Thursdays are for um, recyclables so plastic bottles cans and cartons and the rest of them uh, you know are put into a gray bag so it was quite new to me where I stay I have to put the bag outside between 4 to 8 a.m. it was a bit difficult for me at first I won't even lie but I think now I'm um, I'm, I'm used to it I'm used to it I actually had to write on paper in my kitchen the days for the different types of trash you know so I know and I'm not confusing the whole thing so yeah how is it in your area how are you how did you cope with it so please leave it in the comment section your experience with the trash system in Malta so the second one is the shopping bag so when we're going out to the grocery store to the bigger markets or even just the markets close to our, our house we always have to remember to take our bag so I know that a lot of countries have been doing this thing for a while and where I'm coming from there was a price on the plastic bags eventually it didn't used to be like that before but because of environmental issues they had to put a price on it so that at least people remember that oh you're going to pay for it so if you have one at home just use it right but it was it, it wasn't a lot of money <laughs> so we still ended up buying the bags every time we went to the to the grocery stores but here apart from the fact that the bags were were more expensive than what we were buying them in our previous country when we had just arrived we were doing a lot of shopping and settling into our apartment so we ended up having like a lot of bags and we noticed that they also gave us big like in the in the major shopping stores they gave us big and durable bags that we could always take back and we still use them up till today so we're just like oh what's the point of going going to the store and having to buy over and over again we can really just go with what we, we already have you know and just use the bags is this is this a culture shock i was experiencing it in my previous country but i just never used to follow <laughs> number three is i'm sure everyone already knows this one construction everywhere oh my goodness they are constructing everywhere okay that might be a bit of an exaggeration but so what we we already heard about this by the way because trust me we did a whole lot of research we were almost obsessed with videos on Malta, so we kind of already had an idea of some things to expect so when we're looking for our apartment we tried to make sure that there wasn't any construction on the streets where we, where we were living on the road you know on the left side on the right side we tried to check for like okay maybe old buildings or buildings that might need to be broken down or something like that and we realized that okay yeah you know there was nothing like that and so 
we were comfortable picking the house we didn't expect we didn't expect what happened next so we moved into the apartment and i think we moved in on a weekend so they weren't doing anything but the next week from monday we started hearing construction sounds with with the heating and the hammering and the drilling and the screwing so what we failed to realize was that we moved into a somewhat new apartment and so the building we were like the first or second you know people to move into this building and so the other apartments in this building were not completed we had no idea what was coming they've been fixing or furnishing the other apartments in this house and every morning from morning till like Sometime in the afternoon, we just we just keep hearing construction sounds. But it's finishing up now, so it's not as much as when we first of all moved. <sighs> yeah, so guys, tell me what, what it's like in your area. Are you experiencing these heavy constructions around? I feel so bad for the people that live right next to like buildings that they just brought down, structures that they're just raising up. Honestly, I don't know how these people cope. But if you're coming here to leave, just know that you might encounter some construction at some point in your stay. Okay, so the next one I'm going to be talking about is the small roads. Motor roads are so narrow for the most part. For the most part, the roads are narrow. And I lived on an island, small island as well, but motor is way smaller. And a lot of the roads are one way. And also the pedestrian footpath, honestly, they are very tiny. So two people can't even walk for most of them anyway. Two people can't even walk together there. It's either you're walking in front of someone for some parts. It's not like that everywhere in Malta. So the next culture shock I'm going to be talking about is the high rent and high agency fee. Oh my goodness. Like I said before, because we already did our research, we kind of already knew what the rent was going to it. What, what the rent or the range of the, of the rent. So usually when people ask me, uh, how Malta is uh, and the cost of living in Malta. I would always say that, well, most of the things are not expensive to acquire. So food, transportation is free here um, and some other things, but rent is high. Rent is really high. And apparently it gets higher in the summer periods because that's where you have people, people trooping into the country in their numbers. The thing that really surprised me was the agency commission guys come on the agency commission in Malta is 50 percent of your one month rent so for example let's say you're paying 1000 euros for accommodation in Malta the agent is going with 500 so if you're paying 1000 euros per month i mean you're going to pay the agent 500 euros and it's that is standard i don't know maybe some people were really um blessed to have agents that didn't collect that much or they were able to find their apartments directly with the landlords or the homeowners so you don't have to go through an agent that's another way you know and i i hear that you can you can do that on facebook marketplace and the likes but we didn't we didn't have that um, opportunity we really needed to move into our apartment and then we we posted on facebook and a lot of agents reached out to us and we just chose to work with one and because he was the fastest to reply us he was the one that sent us the pictures and he was just very very proactive he kind of fought for us to get this apartment because there was a bit of competition so yeah we went with him and we just came to terms with the fact that we're going to pay the 50 percent commission so another culture shock for us was that they don't use a lot of cash so we were preparing for months you know trying to get some cash that we're going to use that we're going to to use to eat to do things that we need to do here and then we realized that they didn't they didn't mind like you know the transfers the wireless contactless payment everywhere most people would prefer for you to just pay online and that was it i don't know if it's like that everywhere but i think it's better so i know that i'm not moving around with cash especially when you're moving around highly touristy areas there is a probability of pickpockets and of jo or of just losing your stuff and so it's just a lot better to know that you don't have to move everywhere 
with cash and finally the last culture shock is that the people are surprisingly friendly they're very willing to lend a helping hand they're very very willing to respond to your questions or your inquiries anywhere anywhere that we have gone in Malta like once we had any questions or needed help finding something locating something doing something they would always help out uniquely they were not the friendliest trust me they, they weren't very interested in having conversations and it was very different it was very opposed to Malta Malta some people will even start conversations with you before you even talk to them you know they'll start the conversations first and ask you questions and well that's been a good experience so far and that brings me to the end of my culture shocks that I have experienced that I experienced in Malta I would like to know what you think and I'd like to know if you have also experienced these things or if you experienced different things from what I experienced I'd like to know please leave them in the comment section and please don't forget to like share and subscribe if you haven't subscribed I have other videos about Malta about the relocation process updates on the digital nomad visa and permits and I'll link them up here and in the description box so just in case you have questions as regards this i have all these answers in these videos thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye